Why do you usually stand uh, when it uh, when it comes to like game length and stuff like that? Like how um, how long do you think games like should be generally like um, like what what do you what do you think um, makes a game too long? I guess I don't know. Depends on how much fun I'm having. Hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry, my headphones fell. I could you repeat that? <laughs> Oh, I didn't really say anything after that. It's like, um, that may makes sense. I can't give up. I can't give up. I just can't give an estimate because I play remarkably few games now, so I wouldn't know. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, let me see here. If I, yep. That's ter that's something they would they they would have done in Spyro One where they just make you glide around an area. Okay, yeah, but um, I'll probably get you an achievement and reignited. Possibly. Achievement unlocked. Suicidal. <laughs> achievement unlocked. Wow, you actually found this. Tracks again, Year of the Dragon. Is this a wait? Is this a reused track? I think it's one of the. I think it's the track on the first water level. Oh. Okay. Um. Darn it, Spyro! I I'll, I'll see it after this prisoner. guy finishes. He somehow got away again. Then when I came in to look around for clues, one of them rowdy dinosaurs went and locked me in. Now they're out there causing all sorts of trouble. And there's not a thing I can do about it. Uh, yeah, the... This, um... This stage... Arguably has, like... Some of the... Mo well, it's de they're definitely some of the most dangerous um, enemies in in the Spyro... Um, the Spyro games. Um, they might be the deadliest. Um, I... Could be, like, uh... Could be wrong about that, but these guys like barely gives you any time. Like they're really deadly. So yeah, you gotta watch out. Oh wow, they took you all the way back here. Yeah. They have like a little wind up before the animation, so like that should like best time to really attack. I'll run for the hills. Yeah. Besides that, though, like there's barely, there's really not a lot of breathing room here. And destroy all the cacti. I think that was a skill point in a, in a Spyro 2 level, but in here you, actually, you just have to do it period, so... Just making sure. Hmm. But this is a, uh... Again, nice, nice, uh... Uh, good, fun, challenging level, and... Kind of like a western kind of theme going on. Quick! Use dynamite against the dragon to breathe fire! <laughs> oh, dang it. Dinosaur cowboy, that's like one of those ideas five year old, your five year old self would create. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, thinking about like thinking about though, like this is um, some pretty solid lineup of final levels. Like they're all like really uh, pretty decently challenging for like the final part of the game. Um, so like you expect like the, the last home world to be the most difficult, and I think they did a decent enough job with that here because these are definitely not what I'd call easy levels at all.
Well, I'm not sure I'd maybe... What the heck is that supposed to be? I have no idea that was weird. Uh, what were you gonna say? I don't think that I was wrong. I don't think the track is exactly reused, but the vocals, for lack of a better term, sounds like they were reused from another level. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, what do you what do you think about like uh, this level, though? I mostly just remember Agent 9's mission. I actually really like Agent 9's mission. It's a really di it's actually really difficult. Um, one of the harder missions in the game, but I kind of I just kind of I just enjoy uh, enjoy it on a concept just by its concept alone of like an on rail shooter. I think the the problem is just the fact that he has a really sh uh, slow blaster. So like uh, if it had if he had like the machine gun uh, machine gun in from the other level then it would be a, a lot more manageable but still Agent 9 just feels kind of like he has firepower but he's kind of clunky yeah trade off and Spyro can just kind of generally do things better yeah yeah it's like trade uh, trade uh, movement for power and all that I feel like I'm going in circles. You are. <laughs> um. What would you, what would you what do you think about like the last set of levels? Just in terms of like just general like difficulty balance and uh, like what what do you think about this as like a final set of levels and all that? They're all friggin' deserts. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even realize it until now. Yeah, I didn't even realize it until you mentioned it. I mean, I think I I I like most of these levels, but yeah, I didn't think about think about that to be honest. And yes, this is an odd. Okay, I just realized there's no Rhinox in this level. No. I'm not even sure if the sorcerer did anything aside from place the eggs. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there, there are like a couple levels um, in the game. Not too many, but there's a few where. Uh, dang it. Uh, the sorceress isn't involved um, as much. Um, and when you have. When you have. When you have most of the levels have, uh, have like Rhinox in them, it's. Um, Actually, kind of refreshing, um, because I, um, I I, I don't want to make a big deal about about this again, but because I've already talked about this at nauseum. But um, thing with Spyro Two is that like every level was like that, um, and so when you have the, this game where you have a good chunk of levels that have Rhinox. And then you have a select fruit few that don't. Um, I appreciate that because it's not you're not swaying too far in the other direction. But still, I don't know. Well, I'll be. So that's how my prisoners keep escaping. Here, take this dinosaur egg away before it hatches and causes more trouble. I think it must have been the run of the litter, though. Hey, it's Kiki! Them teeth. Again with the buck teeth. <laughs> That's the cutest looking dinosaur I ever did see. They like can reignite a trilogy. Uh -huh. Alright, I'm gonna do the Agent 9 thing, uh, uh, uh last. Because there's also just a bunch of gems there as well. Oh, okay, I I hate this area. I'm just gonna say this now. So, it's like... 
There was an area like this earlier on in the game where you had to go through a tunnel and you have to kill all the Rhinox. Um, this is a similar thing, but there's a bunch more of a bunch of obstacles in the way. And you don't necessarily have to kill the enemies, it's more for a skill point. Um, but like... I don't know, I... I it's, just an, it's just a mess trying, of, try, trying to avoid all this. Is your phone going off? It was an alarm. Oh. Uh, what's that for? I think it's just my general. Hey, it's 840, go do some homework. Oh. Homework all. Uh, the. Yeah, I, I don't really. I, I just have the most miserable time with this area. And we're gonna have to keep doing this until we. Until we get the skill point, which means we have to kill all the enemies. Uh, thankfully, the, the one upside about this is that if you finish this, um, all these obstacles will um, remain in place the next time. But other than that, you're still going to have to avoid all the TNT boxes and and the uh, rocks falling down. And it's just it, th this area is just a mess. There's too t there's too much going on and. Considering the fact that you have, you're locked into a um, um, the charge, um, you don't really have a lot of room to react to this half the time. Like, like look at this. Like, I made that look easy, but the area at the end there is just, it's just the worst thing ever. <laughs> I double jumped. Damn it. What do you think about uh, uh, water tunnels, or whatever you'd call this? I think you said everything needs to be said. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang it. Uh, so how 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 was a How's the college been for you though? Like, how are you like settling in? Sleep schedule is weird. Oh really? What? Do you, do you have like? Is it like a college? Uh, do you have college like every day? Like, uh, is it? What 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 are the uh, hours like? Monday, ugh, Monday through Thursday. Okay. Ah, dang it. Is it like same hour? Is it like the same hours hours every day? Um, no, Mondays and Wednesdays. It's eleven o'clock to two, three fifteen. Excuse me. Okay. And Tuesday and Thursday, it's eleven o'clock to one forty-five. I believe. Okay, that's not too bad. Now imagine how much worse this would be with. Ah. Now imagine how much worse this would be if spiral swimming controls weren't as good as they are. Yeah, at least we have that going for going for it. And thankfully, the enemies don't respawn, so that's that as well. But still, this still sucks. This is one of my least favorite parts of the game. Um, Anna, what are you studying? Just so okay. Communic communication studies. Okay. Enjoying it? To a point? Yeah. Ah, dang it. Okay. Yeah, you can turn the camera here, but it only helps so much. Unless they gave you the option. Yeah. It's gonna turn and then and then it's gonna be an enemy. Oh, dang ah. it! Okay, it took a while for a sparrow to bash into into them. Thankfully, we've gotten most of the sparrow stuff um, 
done before you uh, went back to college because uh, we've got we just got this last homeworld to do and, uh, and then we're pretty much done okay there we go cool I'm gonna leave now <laughs> Because after, after this uh, level, I think we're going to call it, and then next time, um, I think we're going to be fighting the Sorceress, because I don't think there's any other levels left. Yeah, okay, but, like, I, I pretty much said what I need to, uh, already about this section, but it's a fun little, um, um, on-rail shooter. Again, because of Agent 9's general, like, controls, he shoots pretty slow, so you have to, like, get these guys, like, basically as soon as they show up, especially the guys that throw dynamite out of their mouths, um, and there's a skill point where like one of the, a dinosaur one of the dinosaurs just kind of run across the area at one point and if you shoot him you get a, a skill point but other than that uh yeah basically already already said what I need to talk about this section so Goodness gracious. Yeah. And if anything, getting the skill point uh, helps in just getting health back. Because I don't know if you can get health back uh, any other way in this. Would you. Uh, you, um, you generally uh, don't like Asian 9 very much, but what do you think about this uh, section? in the ass. That's fair enough, yeah. It, it, yeah. It's, um... Yeah, like I said, this is actually pretty difficult. And that's the dinosaur over there. So. Yeah, you can break the windows, by the way. That's more useful when you're actually going around to collect the gems, though. Thankfully, you can just hold the button down, though. No. No, this is bad. Shoot them. Oh, okay. I don't know why the Bailey gang was trying so hard to steal this egg. That's not like them at all. I reckon someone must have put them up to it. Hmm. I mean, I guess you could. I, I, get, I, I mean, I guess you could say like the sorceress hired these guys, but I don't know. I can't imagine that they're. Hmm. I'm. I imagine them. Um, what was I trying to say? On her payroll, but not officially affiliated with her. Yeah, probably. It's just like, you know, uh, screw this place up and I'll pay you. It's like, okay, cool. We'll do it. I like to imagine um, even Bear would be like, since they're dinosaurs, um, it, was, it would actually be like Repto who hired them and just be like, um,. Yeah, yeah, uh, so, I hate Sparrow and all that, so just go go into this general area and just cause havoc. Called Dino Mines, though, I low-key wonder if they're supposed to be the actual people who run it. Yeah.
That would, it would have been it would be cool though if they if they uh, made like they specifically made Ripto the one who hired them and because and be like if she if she didn't get the the epilogue in Sparrow too would be like it would be like a little tease of Ripto still being alive or something. I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing a, a like little suggestions at the wall. What would you think if they did that? It'd be a neat Easter egg. Yeah. Ah. Agent Nine's like uh, stiffer controls really becomes more apparent with me when I'm just doing normal uh, exploration like this. Ratchet he is not. Yeah. <laughs> I've never actually played. Uh, I I own the Ratchet uh, trilogy on the PS3. Um, have you played any any of the games? I played through the original. Uh, how'd you enjoy it? Or, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> it was alright, but well, I'm not sure I guess shooting isn't for me. Okay. And the swimming is a definite downgrade from from Spiral. Mm. Okay, we just had the sorceress left. Um, how does the swimming work in that game? It's more like traditional video game swimming. Uh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Let's just... Feed sparks. Um... But... Yeah, I think we're gonna call it here. Um, so... Uh, next time is definitely gonna be the finale because we literally just got the sorceress boss then... Uh, one extra sparks level and uh, and then we go to the 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 um, secret level we get for 100 percent so yeah almost done almost done with the trilogy can you feel the excitement <laughs> I feel my sagging eyelids yeah <laughs> uh. Uh, you like, got anything like, else to say? It's like three o'clock in your area, isn't it? Um, no, it was, it's it's coming up to two a.m. <laughs> Go to bed, Harry. <laughs> uh, um, got anything else to add? Spiral will rise again. Indeed. Uh, that will see you guys next time for the His finest hour approaches. Indeed. See you guys then. Goodbye.